what is a mistake that you see people come to you with? You know, maybe they're about to retire. Maybe they've been in retirement and they're not super happy with their financial planner. What are some mistakes you see from people in the retirement sphere as, in terms of personal finance and all that stuff? You know, I would say the first one is this overwhelming fear that everything is going to collapse uh, and we move everything into cash, right? When you look back to like 2008 for a perfect example, you may have stopped the loss you never got back in at the right time. So the people who move to cash, they stay in cash too long. The market recovers. You didn't recover with it. You end up actually capitalizing that loss. Working with a planner, helping to understand what is what we should have an emergency fund first. Like, let's make sure we have the right amount of cash. Having no cash, also worse. Um, but like, let's have the right amount of cash and have the right amount of investments. That's the one mistake that I see most often. It's like, let's shift you back into where we need to be and let, let's get you on this road, right? Um, so basically putting all your eggs into one basket in the financial sense, like that's one way to potentially derail stuff. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, number two is this kind of sunk cost fallacy that we see quite often. Um, so somebody could be in a very, very aggressive portfolio um, that, that wasn't right for them in the first place. The market's kind of come down. They've lost a ton. All of a sudden, I don't want to do anything with this. Leave this exactly the way it was. Don't touch it. I need this to come back. Sometimes that, that, that protecting that sunk cost can, can hurt you even more because sometimes depending on the portfolio that you were in, some of those things are not going to come back, right? Some of them may go away. If you weren't diversified properly, if you're in individual stocks and you're, you're holding out for, you know, um, cruise lines to come back and make a giant resurgence in this year, <laughs> you, you might, right? We might want to put you into something that's a little bit more appropriate. So when the market comes back, hey, we're going to recoup that loss, but we're not holding true to something that's, that's now sunk cost because we've lost that we're unwilling to change, right? I'm not saying that we go to cash. I'm not saying that we adjust to something that's too conservative that ever returns. I'm saying that when the markets go down, it's a prime time for you to reevaluate and reassess to make sure that you're in the right thing because we can position you in the right place um, and somewhat stop the bleeding if it is bleeding, right? Um, that's, that's what's having an appropriate portfolio it can do. Uh, and then the last mistake, procrastination. That is the big one. Uh, the earlier you do things, the more variables that we can pull. Um, I see it quite often with social security. Somebody's just like, I'm just gonna take it now and, and figure it out later. Meanwhile, you know, speaking to a financial advisor before you make these one-time decisions only can really make a difference in terms of how much income that you can pull. So before you elect your pension, before you elect your social security, you should sit with somebody, put together a plan, find out what the optimal scenario is and what you need to do to accomplish that. And that usually has a ripple effect to everything else that you do, including your investments. Thanks again for tuning in to Talking Retirement on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to keep up with the podcast and check out all the other great educational content we have on the NJ Life and Health YouTube channel. If you'd like to listen to an audio version of the podcast, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and pretty much all other major podcasting platforms. For daily senior tips and to keep up with us at NJ Life and Health, follow us on all major social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at NJ Life and Health. And of course, if you'd like someone in your corner to help you with Medicare and life insurance, we would love to talk to you. Visit our website at www.njlifeandhealth.com or call our office in Toms River, New Jersey at 848-226-6897. We'd love to set you up with an appointment with one of our Medicare and life insurance brokers. And we are licensed in a lot of other states besides New Jersey. So no matter where you are, there's a chance we can help you out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this podcast and we'll see you in the next episode.